as many are aware, I provide PTSD resources without a diagnosis, and and uh, this is this is one of the reasons why. You know, I, and I want to answer all the, all the questions. I just very quickly want to talk about something you touched on, mental health. Sure, you know, yeah. i about it, what you said. Yeah. Um, you know, on the, uh, it, my own, you know, my own, um, I don't want to say struggles, but, uh, it, you know, just very quickly, those of your listeners know, or, or audience, I mean, I, I've been, aside from, as many of us with the backgrounds and combat places we've been and the bad experiences, um, I've had personal trauma. I lost my sister and my daughter. Um, same time, you know, going through a divorce, a lot of, a lot of bad things happening. Frankly, I, I was in a very bad place. I, I was saved, I think by luck. Um, I think, if I didn't have the coping mechanisms, if I was more junior, if I come out of the military more junior in rank, if I didn't have the education that I've been given or the background or just the waster of being able to go to the VA and say, I'm not happy with this or that, I would have been lost. And I don't know what had happened. I wouldn't, I'm not saying, you know, and, and that disturbs me. It's, um, I'm good. I, I'm, I feel whole, but I think about how, you know, I'll just use an example when I was on this show, and, and we talked about mental health and I said, look, I've tried, um, you know, I, I've come off, uh, I've got to be careful about this because, you, you know, like a lot of us, I was diagnosed with, uh, you know, combat stress, P, you know, whatever, and, and prescribed uh, Zoloft in all good intentions. Um, but I didn't like, it didn't feel like it was helping me and I didn't like the thought of putting those... So I, so I talked to you guys about, hey, I tried cannabis in a state where it was legal. Um, and then I get a call when the show is aired about my security clearance um, and a very kind of threatening email yep. and a series of interviews that were not pleasant. And I think I'm talking about solutions here. Right. I'm saying I needed help. What I was getting wasn't helping. That's not necessarily my fault. I found something that did help and no harm to someone else and it was legal and yet I'm facing loss of security clearance. Right. That's everyone's biggest nightmare. That's right. why guys don't come right. forward. Right. right. And it's just happened to me. So anyone who says and they tell you it, it doesn't, doesn't happen. happen right. It, that's it what they said. Fucking happens. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's their, sober. that's the yeah. line. That's the no, line. It, so that, doesn't happen that says, okay. So I'll be okay. Yeah. Right. If I, you know, hopefully I don't lose my security clearance. Yeah. But the fact that's even a discussion. Yeah. I didn't beat my wife. Yeah. I didn't, you know, that, that's what you call a witch hunt, exactly, right? Yeah. That the U.S. government's combing that's through what podcasts. They come, but, <laughs> that's what they got out yeah. of this, but, right? And, and, right. But, and that's the thing is that, you know, a lot of veterans go, I don't want to go to the VA. I don't want to get treated for post-traumatic stress because of red you flag get a laws. Stigma. You get a You get absolutely because, there is a stigma. Because of red flag laws, yeah. because of this, because of that. And then as soon as, and then, if but you, the thing is, it's real. Yeah, and but if you're looking for, right, because I, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. Everyone's got everyone's got a point at which they cannot sustain any more grief to, to right. behave like I you're, came you're, to that a, point. you're a SATA threat because you tried marijuana to treat some of the issues. Right, because I'm, I'm I'm struggling right. with grief from lost my right. daughter, sister. Look, if you were to come yeah. on and you said well, I'm pounding a fifth of Jack a night, nobody would have said shit to you. Probably, you right. know what I mean? Like it, it's. Yeah, it, it's one well, of those no, things. Well, no, no. In fairness, that would have been, that would have, that would have been a problem too. Yeah, no, you know, I, I, no, uh, I but, get but it. The, but the, but my point is, the impetus wasn't Andy. Right. You're having problems. How can we help? Right. It was let me go after you. Right. For your security clearance. Right. Because you just fucking and drag you into problems. a room and interrogate. Right. You and I said it. something. I didn't say it to, I'm, you know, I'd rather keep that secret. But my point is, we're talking about stuff that other people are probably dealing with right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We, we know that we all of us have had multiple friends who've taken their lives. Yeah. And we can't. Yeah. We can say, hey, that we can try and rationalize it. But we all of it. It isn't a fucking coincidence. Yeah. That, that is happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and 
So did they come after you for talking about the post-traumatic stress? Did they talk to you? Did they come after you for the cannabis? It's they... just all about, it was all, there's nothing about how I am. Can I, there's nothing about, hey, are you, are you thinking about suicide? Which I'm not. It was all the cannabis. I, I wish I, you know, I can, I'm not going to show you the emails, but. Maybe this is speculation, uh, Andy, but did, did you feel that it was really about the cannabis or it was about the things we were doing in Ukraine and the Mozart group and that this was a, a sort of retaliation? Could be. Yeah. Good point. And, and the other thing is, is yeah, because it would be absurd. If it, it was is is somebody in OPM watching every fucking episode of ours to see if somebody had missed maybe. Doing something? <laughs> maybe at this point. No, this was a few months after it came out, but someone had gone trolling, <laughs> looking. It's almost as though someone had come looking for shit on me, mm. which is you can find plenty of shit on me on the internet. You know, I mean, I was a essentially a public figure. Yeah, uh, is I'm that not, how that shit works? Like some fucking. You know, poor guy who was a lance corporal in the Marine Corps does a podcast and he admits that he used cannabis to deal with PTSD and they're going to shake him down over. That's what I wonder. Like, is, that, what is I, that how except it works? Except he probably wouldn't have a security clearance. You know, I, right. I don't know. Well, I right. He, he might yeah. depend on what his job was. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> You can look in the description and get the link to the video um, to watch the full story, but if you need help without a diagnosis, please just reach out to the uh, website that was in the video or reach out to me or reach out to someone. Uh, we'll help you. We love you, brothers. We love you, sisters. We're here for you. We've been through the same struggles with the same results. And so we know what the solutions actually are. Salute.